Okay, going on. This is part two of the review for test four, uh, Physiology Bio 9 at Javelin. Uh, we're in chapter 13, Structures of the Heart, though I do want to go back and, uh, from the previous one, make sure that you know what vitamin K does and what it inhibits or what it's needed for and why or how Coumadin would work as an anticoagulant. Okay, 13.3, structures of the heart. You need to know the structures of the heart. You need to know uh, the atria, the ventricles. You need to know the conduction through the heart. You're going to need to know, you know, the electricity comes through the SA node, goes through the atrium, hits the AV node, goes through the bundles of his into the bundle branches into the Purkinje fibers. You need to know know that you need to know the blood throw, flow through the heart from the pulmonary vein into the pulmonary into the atrium into the ventricles and out the aorta in uh, into the atria out through the pulmonary artery you need to know those you need to know what valves tricuspid bicuspid semilunar uh, you need to, again you need to know the electrical conductivity through the heart uh, you need to know what the heart sounds are what a heart murmur is. You need to uh, you need to be able to match the heart sounds with what is going on in the as in the heartbeat and with the EKG. You need to know what the cardiac cycle is, uh, what diastole or systole is, what it rep represents on your blood pressure, how to measure a blood pressure. Uh, Pressure changes in the cardiac cycle. You uh, need to have a rough idea of what the blood pressure is during the atrial contraction or atrial filling, uh, filling ventricle contraction, and the difference in the blood pressure between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. You need to know what an EKG is. You need to be able to wave, label the waves. You need to know what the waves uh, correspond to in the heart uh, beat, uh, dis which depolarization they respond to. Conducting tissues of the heart, you need to know about the gap junctions, the AV node, the SA node, fibers of Purkinje, bundle of Hiss, how an impulse is conducted, what calcium uh, and calmodulin have to do in that type of uh, conduction, what type of uh, innervation slows the heart rate, what type of control speeds up the heart rate, thinking of the sympathetic versus the parasympathetic systems. Uh, you need to know about if the SA node or the AV node isn't working, well, why does the heart continue to beat and what controls that. Correlate the heart sounds with the EKG. Uh, Blood vessels, you need to know the difference between the arteries and the veins. You need to know the, you're going to be asked questions on the layers of epithelium in the veins or arteries. Uh, you need to know about the pressure in the arteries versus the pressure in the veins, how the blood uh, gets back to the heart in the veins, even though pressure may be different and what type of pumps work with that. We certainly talked about that enough. Talked about uh, the ability of hormones to vasodilate, part of the sympathetic system, uh, or constrict, and why and what situations they might do that. Uh, the types of capillaries, the pressure on either side of the capillary, uh, the vena, the cap, arter, arterial side, or the venous side, and what happens with that pressure. Uh, also, you're going to be looking at the reabsorption of fluid that uh, between the arterial side and the venous side of the capillaries, and why and how that goes. Uh, arthrosclerosis. You're going to look at. Uh, what's laid down, where is it laid down, and why is it laid down. Know the difference between an LDL and an HDL, and how macrophages and endocytosis and that work along with arthrosclerosis. 
uh, know what a CRP is and what, what effect that has on arthrosclerosis or what arthrosclerosis has on it. Ischemic heart disease, know about the oxygen transport to the heart. Know that uh, what happens to the coronary vessels during systole versus diastole and how is function maintained, how is oxygen level continued to maintain to the cardiac uh, muscle. Know what a bradycardia is and a tachycardia. And know what uh, flutter and fibrillation is. Know the difference between an atrial fibrillation and a ventricular fibrillation. And what it can cause and how dangerous it is. We're not going to look at AV node blocks. Uh, I'm not going to ask you the degrees of that. But do know what a, what a ventricular uh, fibrillation or flutter is. Lymphatic system, know that the lymphatic system is the second part of the circulatory system. Know the components. Know where it picks up fluid, what it does, where it drains. Know what a lymph node does. Uh, know what lymph is versus interstitial fluid. Uh, look at lymphedema if uh, the nodes get blocked. Uh, Know where they dump they where they dump into finally and what happens to the lymph fluid. Uh, know what happens if a parasite parasite or something like that gets into the lymph system and blocks it. And what type of one disease that we did look at and showed you a picture of that might come from that. Okay, let's look at the summary in chapter 13. Uh, what is blood transport? What's the composition of blood? What are formed elements versus the fluid elements? What's the difference between serum and plasma? Uh, what's the coagulation process very superficially? Intrinsic versus extrinsic. What causes it to start? How does a cascade work? Uh, what cements the blockage or the cells together and what breaks it up? Uh, you're going to look at the structure of the heart. You're going to look at the, uh, the cycle. You have blood flow, electrical flow through the heart. Uh, the heart beating, match that with an EKG, match it with the heart sounds. Know the, blood know the types of blood vessels. Uh, what they do, where, uh, you know, in the in the body and their structure, and uh, the pressure, where the pressure is in the in the arteries versus the veins, how the blood gets back to the heart. Know about atherosclerosis and what it is. Uh, be able to describe the lymphatic system and what it does and how it works and why why the fluid is being drained and how uh, what influences that. Okay, going on to chapter 14. Got okay, chapter 14 is cardiac output, blood flow, and blood pressure. You're going to know what a cardiac rate is, a stroke volume, uh, total blood, blood volumes 5,500 milliliters, somewhere around there. Know how the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, systems affect the heart rate. Know the hormones that are secreted by the sympathetic system to uh, control the heart rate. Stroke volume, uh, know what it is. You do not have to, I'm not going to have calculations, so you don't have to know the, uh, the do, to be able to do the calculations. Uh, know about intrinsic control is contraction strength. We talked about that in the muscles. Uh, venous return, know that, you know, know that the venous, uh, the use of the muscles, the exercise, uh, the skeletal muscle pumps, your venous control, venous return is higher, which allows for some increased load and stroke volume in the heart. Blood volume, what uh, 
what organ is mostly involved in bl blood volume, know about the uh, renin-angiotensin system, know about ADH, and know how that works, know about the filtration, know about the osmotic pressure of blood, what creates the osmotic pressure and why is it uh, pulling fluid back into the blood and into the lymph system. Uh, know about the distribution of water between the uh, interstitial and uh, circulatory systems. Know what edema is. Know what disease is caused by uh, the uh, blockage of the lymph nodes or lymphatic system. Uh, know what erythropoietin does. Know about ADH and uh, aldosterone, renin aldosterone, and the reabsorption of salt and water. Uh, or I'm sorry, the renin, yeah, angiotensin aldosterone system. And the ADH. You know what happens is, uh, as you pre pre exercise in warm, what happens to the venous uh, dilation, how the body cools itself, uh, know what a atrial natriuretic peptide is and what it does. We are not going to be tested on vascular resistance to flow. Uh, so there will be nothing on that. Know about the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, regulation of cardiac output and intrinsic and intra extrinsic regulation of blood flow. Uh, know how the heart gets its oxygen and uh, what goes on during systole versus diastole. Uh, regulation of the blood flow through the through the skeletal muscles, how that works. Uh, exchanges in the capillaries, what happens there. Cerebral circulation, know that it's about 750 mils per minute and it doesn't change much, except that do know that they... If the blood pressure goes up, the uh, the vessels in the heart, or excuse me, in the brain, uh, constrict or control the blood pressure. Uh, you know about blood pressure to the blood flow to the skin, what anastomosis is, and what it does, and why it does it. Uh, know what a blood, how to take a blood pressure. Uh, what the different sounds means, know how the barrel reflexors and the stretch reflex uh, control the blood pressure by controlling dilation, heart rate, reabsorption, things of that sort. Know about the atrial stretch, you know how to measure blood, for, uh, blood pressure, the cortical sounds, and we're not going to go into mean arterial pressure. Know what hypertension is. Essential and secondary hypertension. Uh, how they may treat it. What circulatory shock is. Septic shock, septic shock, anaphylactic shock, neurogenic shock, and cardiogenic shock. And congestive heart failure. Know what, can, know what it is. Uh, know what they can do about it. That's the end of chapter 14. So you're looking at cardiac output. Uh, know what pretty much what's in the sum in the summary will uh, will help essentially uh, on the uh, on the test.